Let's continue to look at the import statement and understand under the variation that you will see as part of machine learning. So here you can see this is the math module. So you can see it's called a module here. And what we're doing is we are importing in a function over here. So notice when I hover over the name, it says it's a function. And then you can see it's this one is pi value. And notice it's a constant. So that means it's a variable within that function. So you can access variables if they are part of a module. Module. So if we now try and do this, you can see if I do print of pi and run this, and you can see the value being printed here. Now, if I take out this, so don't import this in, and now you can see Rio Studio Code is complaining to say that it cannot find pi, so it's undefined. And if I run the code over here, it would appear that it still works. So you can see it's worked. So you can see this has worked, but we haven't imported in. Why is that? And the why is VS Code here is complaining that it's undefined but yet it still continues to function. This is because the value of pi is in the cache and is just picking the value up from the cache of this program. So if I were to click on this restart button over here, and if I restart, and do you want to restart the kernel, all variables will be lost. So notice here, this is a big one. All variables will be lost. If we do this and restart it, and after the restart, now try and run this code, and what you'll see is you'll get an error. So do you see? Before, when we run this, we had it as part of the import statement, but then we removed the pi from the import statement, and now we get this error when we try and print it because it's saying name error, and it's saying that the name error over here, pi, is not defined. So that's the error that we get. So although it appears that without the import statement your code ought to work but and when you click the play button it worked but once you restart the kernel or you can close the notebook and come back to it it won't work right? so we will just add that back in and you can see we've just added the pi back in and now when we run this you can see that our code works and there is no issue with this so just remember uh, to order with import in the functions the variables for classes in your notebook and once you remove the reference to them although if I for example if I remove the reference then still click lay on here, execute cell. It appears that it's working. So once you restart the kernel, it will stop working. So don't remove any references in your import statements if you are using them later in the code.